I know it's been a while. I uploaded my last tutorial video 10 months ago. I know, I've been really lazy. I've been mean to get to it, but I'm finally doing it. Since I'm lazy, I'm hoping I can do this in one take because I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't have the energy to properly make a video, but we're going to get right into it. The title says I'm here to teach you NST. Now, you've probably never heard of NST. If you have, good job. You're already a step ahead. But I'm going to start by answering an important question. What is NST? NST stands for non-sprint turnaround. It's essentially a faster way to change your direction in midair. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to teach you a few things about the way, the way physics work in this game before, so you can have some understanding of, of, of how this technique works. So first and foremost, say I am in the air and I want to change directions, and I'm sprinting. It's really fast, but there is some period of time there where I am decelerating before I start accelerating to the right. Now, say for example, I am not sprinting and then I sprint to the right, it's not a big difference. But it is a difference. I'm going to accelerate to the right faster because it takes me less time to decelerate if I'm already going slower. So this is this is this is where we can piece together a few important things. So when I let go of sprint, I instantly lose momentum. See, I'm in the air and then boom, I suddenly slow down. The second sprint is gone. If you mix these two things together, you let go of sprint and then sprint in the opposite direction, essentially you are instantly decelerating and then accelerating to the right so so while you might not be able to see a difference while i turn i promise you it is a very very big difference that that in essence is what nst is you let go sprint and you sprint in the other direction i know for sure that this tech theoretically should exist in any game where letting go of sprint instantly changes your momentum so i mean if you want to apply that elsewhere power to you i don't know if if, if it's a tech elsewhere but i assume it should be so, again, it, it, it's really not like a huge difference. It's, it's not a noticeable difference, but it makes a very, very, very big difference in your ability to play the game, and here's why. So, effectively, in Ultimate Chicken Horse, all you're really doing is changing the angle at which your character moves to pass by some hazards. And if that's all you're doing, what happens when you get a more effective way of changing that angle? You get better at the game. It, it's probably a reductive argument, but I promise you, NST is is probably the second most important tech, possibly the most important. I think Quick Jump is still is still number one, but but just bear with me. I'm gonna show you an example, okay? So here is me trying to hit this wire without NST. Notice how like my turn just feels kind of sluggish, and I'm getting really close to that wire, and it's definitely possible for me to hit that wire, but it's kind of difficult. And 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 take my word for it. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a top three player, so if it's difficult for me to get the timing down, it's probably a difficult thing to do. Now watch this. I'm going to do it one time with NST. Little to no difficulty, I'm going to hit that wire. So while you might not see the difference in the turn, I promise you the difference is, is very, very big. So what you're going to do in order to learn this setup, you're going to go into free play, and you are going to create exactly this setup right here, okay? Then, you are going to go up to this spot, you're going to do a coyote jump off, and then you're going to turn around instantly. At first, I don't want you to use NST, I just want you to try turning around without it, okay? You might hit the wire a few times, like that, but I promise you it doesn't mean that NST isn't useful. NST just makes this easier. So just getting used to doing the coyote jump and then turning around, you're going to jump off, turn back. And then once you feel comfortable with that, I'll say after you've done it maybe 10 times each side, I want you to incorporate NST. So I want you to try to die to the wire, okay? That is your goal. You want to hit that wire and you want to die because that means that you turned around quick. So once you've done that maybe 20 times on each side, what you're going to do is you're going to go and create a new setup, okay? This is where NST really, really, really becomes useful. You're just going to set up this right here. NST makes it very, very easy to stop on a dime, and that makes all precision much easier. I, I, I swear. Now that I'm now that I'm finally recording, there we go. Yeah, now I'm gonna die. 
but but promise I, I promise you take my word for it NST makes this kind of thing much easier so what you're gonna do when you feel comfortable with the inputs of NST when you have it down you are gonna set this up sorry let me put the music back on you're gonna set this up and you're just gonna practice this until you feel comfortable with it this might take a little bit longer maybe 30 successful attempts on each side and once you've completed those then you're ready to move on try a bunch of different types of precision you could try for example you could try you could try it with wires you could try it two apart you could try it three apart if you really felt risky and you knew some other tech you could try it four apart but that's for another video so just practice your precision and once you're good with that i want you to do two more things first i want you to internalize this NST is not something you do only when you need to turn around quickly. NST is what you do every time you turn around. It might seem like a daunting task at first, but I promise you, eventually it just feels supernatural. Every time I change direction, I just naturally do an NST because it's so ingrained into my muscle memory. And that makes me a much better player because I don't need to actively think about doing an NST. It just kind of happens. Um, and then next, the very, very final thing that I want you to do after you've completed every little bit of homework that I've given you, every little bit of practice, and once you feel super comfortable, you are going to come over, let me find it here, to my level, Precision Hell, okay? Every time I teach somebody, this is the level I send them to because this is purely precision, and if you can beat this level using NST, you have it down pat. So I'm going to post the code in the description, but real quick, I'm just going to give you a bit of a, a bit of a preview of what it looks like before I send you on your way. Alright, so I know I said I was going to do one take, but <laughs> as soon as I got into this level, I died a whole bunch of times, and I, it's honestly just kind of embarrassing, so we're just going to redo that. But, as I was going to say, this is Precision Hell, as the name might advertise, it's literally just precision. I created this map to practice precision and more specifically to practice NST. So what you're gonna do, literally just try and beat this level. It might take you a long time. Honestly, it probably will. Most people, it takes like hundreds, if not thousands of attempts. But once you've beaten this level, you have NST down, I promise you. Don't get me wrong. Like, as, as much as I say, like, this is the way to like, learn how to do it. This is still a really hard level to beat. <laughs> like, like, don't expect to be able to do it right away. This is more so of a long-term project. NST is something that honestly takes a long time to master. But once you have mastered it, I promise you, you will be so good at the game. That's honestly everything I had to say for now. Um, fingers crossed I actually do more tutorials in the future. Because, I'm sorry guys, I'm just really lazy. But, yeah, that's, that's everything. I, I should plug my Twitch while I'm here. Um, Twitch.tv slash BoJackUCH. I stream UCH mainly. I stream some other things. But a lot of the time I have teaching streams. So if you are unsure of how to do something, just pop into my stream. Ask me a question. I will be happy to answer. Link will be in the description. But for now, that's everything. Till next time.